What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Station Nears. Um, when we left off in the last episode, we actually got a pretty good um, part of our filtration system set up. And now it's filtering out and storing in different things and so on and whatnot. Um, however, the end of the episode, we kind of ran into an issue with the computer logic. And I don't personally think it's on my end. I think it's on the game's end. I could be wrong. Would not be the first time. But I'm thinking it's just that the computers in the game are not are not working totally correctly. Um, like I said, could be wrong. Don't think I am. But if I am, let me know. Uh, the biggest reason I say that is because all the tutorials and stuff I've looked up for the computers mentioned that, and I still don't know where the source of that popping pipe is. I, I really, it's it's beginning to bug me because all the other sounds work. And I don't know why that won't. <laughs> and I could understand if I had a leak, if I had a busted pipe somewhere, but I don't see one. I've checked the system, the system works, so I don't know why it's making noise. For, for a minute there it seemed to be working fine. Anyways, uh, the biggest reason I say that there is a glitch is that this stuff, and when I look online and watch other YouTube videos, most of the tutorials about computers will show like a light and when you click on this they'll have a power or something like that. They don't have this on with an enter value thing. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's quite working right. But like I said, because I didn't do that, it's just the way that it's set up. I don't think it's actually working correctly. So we're gonna we're gonna break this down. I'm gonna keep it and I'll probably use it when they like patch it or something. I don't know. Um, but for now, I don't think it's viable. So as you can see, I set up a little bit of an experimentation here that I wanted to try with um, uh, with the actual circuit logic. And I'm trying to kind of... Now, I, I've never done this outside of a tutorial where it was just shown how to do it. Um, so I'm a little bit flying, on the seat of, flying by the seat of my pants here trying to figure out exactly how this works. So when we see this switch, I'm kind of thinking I'll use the switch instead of the um, instead of the computer. And out of these ports, we can see that the switch is one and zero, so it's binary, which we can use. So I'm going to try and do a comparator and say if it equals, let's see, logic. Oh, it doesn't have. It can't work without a actual input devices. Okay. So I was, hence why I was making some extra cable. Um, I gotta get my tools set up here. <sighs> Dang it! I I do wish one thing. I I understand people saying I hope they don't change the controls and stuff because it's just because people complain it's too difficult. The one thing I wish they would do is when you're on this window and you have this open, I wish your number keys would work, so that I could just pull the belt open and hit like. Uh, six and it would just go to this slot kind of thing rather than having to scroll wheel my way around that's my only real complaint with the controls so far um so i'm just going to cut this cable uh which in hindsight i realize is the cable for the vent and everything but whatever um and like i said this is a more of a test proof of concept thing than actually like okay i figured it out so we've got, I think that's power. Yeah, so we have power going in. Actually, I should cut this one and do, well, actually what I should do is move this as well. We're gonna move this like here. And again, the reasoning is just for ease of use. So we can put that there. Uh, what do I need, a four-way junction? Yeah, four-way junction there. And then we'll put a corner, if I can find it. There we go. We'll put a corner there, we'll pick up our cutters. Um, bum, 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 bum. This is going to be a corner as well. Um, and then we basically just have a straight line here. Because that's going to be this. Now I should... I might... Hmm. Okay, well, let's let's work with this for a minute. 
because I have to figure out exactly what this is seeing and how this works. So we're going to put... Actually, I don't really need... No, I did this wrong. I did this wrong. What I need is a memory unit over here. I don't actually need any of this here at all. We can do a junction here, and then I need a memory unit over here to compare to. That's what I need. Okay, so... I don't know why it always resets where I was. That's kind of annoying. Um, power controller. Nope, 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 nope. Logic memory. There we go. And I'm hoping we can get this part situated, even if it's not pretty. And it might take up our floor over here. I'm not sure yet. But I'm hoping to get it situated um, so that we can get our filtration system kind of properly working um, today. That's, that's my number one goal for this episode, is to get the filtration system working the way that I actually wanted it to work, which is uh, if I turn this on, I get pure air, and if I turn this off, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, grab this. All right, so now let's do some stuff. That's not, no, didn't need that. Um, left alt. All right, so we're going to make the logic memory one. So what this is going to do, change to logic memory, change to switch. Okay, now in theory, I think because this is all synced up, it should pick up all kinds of stuff, but it's only reading what it can read, I guess. So we're going to compare the math switch to the memory unit. And we're going to go with if it equals. So in theory, with this to one, if this equals one, uh, I don't know what it's going to be putting out, though. So batch writer, logic compare. Wait, that's the batch writer. So batch writer logic compare. So that's the compare unit. So we're set there. Um, output type. All right, so this part I need to connect up, I think. This is where I need to connect this up. And I might end up needing multiples of this because um, you need a screw. Oh, screwdriver. So wall, here's where we can pick up all kinds of stuff. Wall uh, auto lathe. So what I'm looking for, batch writer filtration. I'm not really sure what that's picking up, to be honest. Um, what I'm looking for is the digital valves and the, what was the other thing on the, the gas mixer. And there's two digital, okay. So this will work. But what I need to do, if this is going to work... Okay, so I think, I've, I think I figured this out. What I need is three batch writers and one line here. So what I'll need, or four if I want to control the vent, two. Okay, so I need four batch writers. So I need four batch writers, one for the vent, two for the digital valves, and one for the gas mixer. And then what it'll be done is, well... All right, let's, let's run through this real quick just to see if I can actually get it to work on the vent. Let's try it on the vent. Active vent. I don't know which one this is, but we're just going to leave it because I don't really care. Uh, we have our mask on, I believe. Yes. All right, so change to open, change to mode, pressure external. I'm looking for basically an on-off. Lock setting on. All right, so in theory, if I turn this on, wait, this isn't getting any power. All right, so that's not going to work. Um, literally not going to work. So we'll cut this cable, and we'll do a junction here, and then we'll do a corner here, and we'll do a straight one here. That was weird. Okay. Um, all right, so with that in mind, now turn you on? Okay. So none of the vents are on. We've got the memory set there. We've got the comparator set here. Now, we have active vent. 
logic comparator and the batch writer set to on. So in theory, this is outputting at zero. So if we switch this on, all right, so that's controlling both active events. That's not what we want. Um, I'm wondering if I label these, if that will change. Why are the particles still going? I turned you off. Um, let's try this. Oh, I have it set for flood. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Ugh. That's not good because it means I might not be able to actually find what I'm looking for. Mm. Active vent. Wall light. It's kind of like picking up all of them, I guess. I really don't know what filtration is finding, though. Electronics printer, gas mixer, digital valve. See, I have no way to find the name that I can see. Switch logic mirror active vent. Mm. Um... All right, open mode. I see no place that's setting on and then back to open. Hmm, this might not actually work. Pooh. Because that turns, well, I, I guess I could do it without the vent. Maybe I could just activate digital valves and the gas mixer. I do have another gas mixer somewhere though for the actual propellant tank. So I don't know if that would work either. Um, hmm. Well, I thought I could access, unless I'm using this wrong, I, there might be another one that I need to use instead of the batch writer. Now that I'm thinking about it, the, the, tr the term batch would be all. Wait, what do, how do, does not have enough batter, oh, oh, it's empty, oh, who knew? Okay, well, oh, dang, damn it, all right, give me this. Okay, let's switch that out, just temporarily, because I don't really care. All right, um, so the thing that I'm wondering because you can do logic reader, logic writer, or batch writer. I'm wondering if we do logic writer, if I can pick just one. That's kind of the next thing on my list of things to try. So output, filtration, digital valve. Ah, there we go, vent flood, perfect. Logic, and then we do on. Uh, this is the flood one, right? Vent flood. Okay. I don't know how you use these computer... Ch Maybe that's why it's not working. Maybe that's why the computer didn't work. Power low. Maybe it needs an actual um, chip, a data disk. I never even thought to try that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but anyways, let's give this a go real quick, just to make sure we're on the right idea. So we've got one comparator and now a logic one instead of a batch. And when we click this, our vent should turn on. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to do it this way, I think, but I'm going to keep a separate save before I started all this and when I had the computer set up because I might experiment with data disks and see if it gives me different stuff. So let me tinker with this and I'll be back momentarily. Okay, so I think I've got this kind of laid out. I think, maybe, possibly, I have no idea. Um, so one thing I will say is I'm finding a lot of value in this little doodad for this kind of stuff. I've renamed everything. So I've renamed the flood vent. Oh, well, I actually already had that done, but I renamed the switch for Atmo room fill. I've renamed this for flood vent compare memory, Atmo switch toggle, flood vent logic, gas mixer logic and for what what mixture uh digital valve o2 logic digital valve n2 logic so i've got everything nice and labeled because we did find that uh it will go by um your labeling for the logic writers and just to make sure these are all writers correct now at first i wasn't sure how to wire these up correctly 
Um, and it was kind of a pain to get them all powered because of where everything is. Like, it's power here and data here. It's, it was kind of annoying. Um, and admittedly, after looking at this, I might be able to streamline this in the future. And my reasoning being, I didn't want to tie in the power and data off of this line of fear of it would overwrite what this is. I totally forgot that I could actually adjust what's coming out for data. Um, so in theory, there's probably a way more efficient way to set this up, but at the moment it is what it is and it's working. Um, so the last step before we test this out, it, well, technically the last step is I have to vent the room <laughs> and get, uh, all the mixture out of there. Uh, but the last step for me is I need to come out here and label this stuff accordingly. So this is N2, I believe. Yeah, N2, and this is O2. Okay, so basically we're going to name this um, digital valve, oops, N2. And we'll name this digital valve... O2. And that should make things a little easier. And then we've got this guy, which we're going to name. Um, I've thought of a different, I could do gas mixer and then do this. Yeah, that's how we'll do it. We'll keep the same kind of naming convection conventions. O2, N2. And the reason I'm doing that is, like I said, I think further down here, do I have it down here? No. Okay. I ended up moving it. I was thinking of when I had the um, the furnace hooked up and I had a couple of different things going. So in theory, we should have access to these guys now. And we have access to the internal vent already. So we should, fingers crossed, uh, air quotes, should have everything we need hooked up. Now it's just going to come down to... Did we label everything right? Is everything set up correctly? And, and so on. I really, really, really would love if anyone gave, could give me feedback on where this popping noise is coming from because it's driving me bananas. I'm really... I'm going to be mixed. I'm hoping it's a bug because if it's a bug, then I didn't do anything wrong, which would be nice. But I'm also hoping there's something I can do to fix it because it's driving me crazy. It just sits there and makes that little popping sound the whole time without without ceasing and I really don't know what it's from um, all right so with that though now we need to set this up so we should have the inputs being flood vent compare everything set up that way uh, what I need is oh this is my output okay so I want um, Logic math, logic math, wait, 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 wait. Why am I not fine? Oh, there's flood vent compare. All I, okay, so I've got to cycle through everything, I guess. So this is for digital valve. So not the gas mixer, digital valve O2. Um, can I right click or alt click to go backwards? Is that a thing? Airlock power, no, you can't. You have to just cycle through everything. Well, that sucks. All right, um, digital valve O2, digital valve N2, there we go. This is the gas mixer, which was around here somewhere. There we go, gas mixer. And this is for the flood vent. Flood vent compare. Oh, vent flood, whoops. All right, so that should be all set up. So now we want the on function for everything. On. Oops. Oh, dang it. There we go. On. All right. So if, really, really big if, um, actually, like I said, we've got a little tiny smidgen of CO2 in here, so let's go ahead and turn this on and get that out of there. Um, but if I have this set up correctly, then we should be seeing... This is set to zero, so the input should be zero. State is zero, so the power should... And this is what's weird, that I can do this with the logic. 
but when I put it on zero or one on the computer, it didn't work. And so I don't know if it needs a data disk. I don't, I tried that by the way, I went off camera and I tried that it still didn't work. So I don't know if it needs the data disk, if it needs, um, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, I don't know if it needs something else, if it needs to be configured differently, if I had something that wasn't supposed to be there. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, this is going rather slow. And it's kind of annoying. But in theory... Now the funny thing would be to have one comparator to turn all of these on. But yeah, that would be way unnecessary. Alright, so there is nothing left in this room. Oh, okay, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There's nothing in this square. But over here, apparently, there is. <laughs> That's really weird. Alright, well, you know what? That's good enough. That's good enough, because we, we know as long as there's no more than 0.2 cmol, centimol, I guess, of CO2, then we're good to go. All right, so the next step um, is to save it. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to save it. I might try and vent a little bit more out of this room. I don't know, just, just for my own peace of mind. Uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I went ahead and gave us a backup save. Now we can turn this one off. Let's turn all these comparators on. And it, honestly, our vent is kind of our check because if all of these are working then the vent will be working kind of thing so if i did this right now the one thing i have to preface this with again this is more proof of concept type stuff not that it's the right way to do it so when it comes to like pressure regulating make sure the pipes are cleared all that i'm totally not saying that i'm doing this right so just full disclosure if it blows up my fault um let's see what happens All right, so that's pressurizing really fast, and it's very cold, but we are getting pure air and nitrogen. Perfect. Um, yeah. I, I don't know why the nitrogen seems to be fluctuating depending on which way I'm looking. Oh, I guess it's grid pressure. Like if I'm over here, it's one pressure if I'm over here, it's another. So I guess it's particle density in, in each square. But we're actually getting nothing but oxygen and nitrogen. It is an 80-20-ish. I mean, 79-21. I mean, let's be picky about it. Um, so yeah, that's working pretty well. Now it's just a question of how much I actually have in those tanks to know whether or not... Um, and here, but see, here's the thing that I don't get. The state of the on thing is one. So it's zero and it's one. Why didn't that work with the computer? That's what I want to know. And I'm, I'm thinking it's just that the computers just don't work at the moment. That's the only thing I can come up with that makes any sense. Um, now we don't have an actual, um, we don't have an actual air conditioner. We have this little portable one. Which, you know, it's, it's, it's doing okay, but this is a pretty large area for it to, for a little portable guy. So, I don't know about all this, if, how, how well that's going to do. Uh, one, one thing this will tell us is exactly how much oxygen and nitrogen we had in that tank. Because uh, we're at 40 kPa. I'm seeing particles, but I'm wondering how much of that is actually moving. Or like, you know, if it's if it's just the game still saying there's there's force going through the the pipe kind of thing. Um, I don't have a display set up to actually be able to read and see what the tanks are measuring. That would be another cool thing to do. Um, but I haven't really dealt with the LCD stuff and things to know how that actually works. But um, for now, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I do need to swap out. Uh, this guy's battery was doing not great. So we're going to switch that out. And then next I'm going to switch out my tablet battery. And then I'm going to throw one in the... Um, then I'm going to throw the last one in the scrubber, I think. Or, I mean, the air conditioner. So at this point it looks like we're done. I don't see any more particles. So in theory, 
I should be able to push this button and nothing blows up. I mean, it's still making that annoying popping noise. But I think at this point, there's probably still some stuff in the valve. I mean, not the valve, in the pipe, in theory. Um, let's find out. So we do have our nice 80-20, so that's cool. But if we look at the pipe, can I get a hold of the pipe from here? Not easily, it would seem. Let's get rid of that. Uh, pipe, 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 pipe. And of course, I can't really see it. So there's 92 p pascals, I guess. Ha ha! I remembered. I remembered stuff. Uh, I'm smart now. Um, wow, there's... Oh, that's world. Dang nabbit. It always does that to me. So there's only 92 pascals in there. Uh, where we have 40 kPa in the um, in the actual room. So most of the air is in here. We do have some stuff in the... And I don't know. We I'm going to leave this off, actually. Mainly just because I'm not venting and using the room enough for it to actually matter. Um, and then we'll turn this guy on. Oh wait, no, that's set to hot and cold. There we go. And that's the pressure. So we're just going to let that crank for a while because it'll probably run out of stuff. Um, but yeah, nope, wrong thing. I think that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do for a while um, until they fix computers. That's the sad part is honestly computers, I could have done all of that with that one little square thing there and that one little set of cabling and I had to do all this stuff to get it to work. Well, it is working. It's one of those, for any of you that are like, I wish it had some kind of logic control. It does. It's just not very user-friendly and easy to use as opposed to the computer aspect. But as you can see, we basically ended up doing the same thing with the zero and the one state, the binary toggle. So why it didn't work with a computer, I have absolutely no idea. Because even though we were entering the, the value manually, like it says enter value and you could put 255 or something and we were putting in 1, it still should have been able to read it. So that's why I keep coming back to it has to have been a bug. Because if it's not a bug, I don't know why it wouldn't accept that as an answer kind of thing. Um... I don't remember. I don't think I had any more floor grates, did I? I want to kind of do some maintenance here as well, I think, because I need to find a spot for these guys. This was just, um, this is just a bad idea. That didn't work well. Um, all right. Actually, I put all this stuff in here, and I probably could use it in the auto lathe, actually. So let me get, I actually don't have that much iron. Do I have any more iron? I do, and I'm gonna pollute my air. Oh well. Uh, it might help with the, might actually help with the temperature though. Turning the arc furnace on, but I bet you we're giving off what is it? C not CO2, but uh, well, CO2 and pollutant actually is what we get from that. So I guess the next phase. Uh, let's see. I need construction. Or is it construction kit or is it floor kit? Kit, locker, what does a locker cost? I forget, I might use another locker. 10 iron, that's not bad. Iron wall, I don't want walls, I want floor. Floor kit, floor kit, floor kit, floor kit. Where did it go? Floor grating, there we go. All right, um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get you, let's just keep you going, if I can get off this wall. We'll just keep you going. We'll use up this. Um, yeah, that's fine. And we'll put you in here. I'm gonna do some other stuff. I'll probably make another locker too while I'm at it. And put it maybe over here. It's somewhere. I don't know. Um, how far away from, from that was the locker? Probably not far at all. It's usually the way it goes for me. Yeah, it wasn't that far at all. Um, but yeah, so I think the next step... I'm going to kind of beautify this a little bit as much as I can. Um, 
And by that I mean, you know, put up iron walls and floors and stuff like that and actually get a decent, um... Wait, I passed it again. Uh, get a decent appearance going on. And you can actually, it looks like you can actually inset these into the wall. I don't know if there's any... Oh, no, I guess not. They're just more shallow. Whoops, a daisy. That did not go the way I wanted it to go. <laughs> Give me that back. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking it was actually stuck in the wall, but I guess that's... It is stuck in the wall. Dang it. This one set of cabling here is in my way. All right, well, maybe I'll put you over here then. See if I care. Stupid thing. Um, so yeah, don't put it actually that far back in the wall, I guess, is the morals of that story. Oh, you can only hold ten. That's good to know. Um, and we'll turn you off for now. We'll turn you off for now. All right. So I'm going to get these out of my way. I don't even know if I'll end up using them for something at some point. I could always put them in the recycler. Hey, look at that. Fill up our first top row. Cool. Um, what are we at? 8.7. It's going to take a while. I could actually build an air conditioner, I suppose, and put that somewhere. But that might be another episode. So I'm probably... The, I'm, I just looked at my clock and realized I'm running a little long. Or a, not long, but just we're running out of time. So my last little thing I'll probably do is put flooring down. Maybe put walls down. Um, I don't know. I guess I do have some extra iron sheets. I could probably do that. Um, and then we'll probably wrap this episode up. Alrighty, so I've gone through and beautified everything as much as I can. Obviously the steel or the iron is not all that great looking, but I didn't really want to go through all the effort to make the steel frames at the moment. They do look a lot better. Um, and you can still see kind of some stuff, and I guess we can still remove stuff if we wanted to, but I'm not going to like turn these on and off, I guess. I mean, I guess I could, but it's a lot of work to try and find a little button thing. Um, and I vented the room from when we did the, um, when we used the furnace. So we're going to dump some more fresh air back into the room. I've also got this guy here because what I think I want to try and do, we're going to put the data disk in here and I guess take, oh, don't I need something? What did, what did I need for this? I needed something. You need some kind of cartridge or circuit board. It's the, um, let's see. Uh, let me walk this back. So the construction kit. No, that's not. Circuit boards, I think, are, I think cartridges are for your hand. Yeah, cartridges are for your handheld motherboard. So it's circuit board that I'm looking for. But I don't know. Mode controlled gas display. Display, door control. I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for the one that I could use for, uh, showing the amount of power that I have in a battery, and I don't know which one that would be. I guess it could be power control. That's an, that's an airlock control. Let's try power control. What do I actually need for that? Five gold, five copper. I think I still have that. Uh, there's gold. What did I do with all my copper? Is it still in the other machine, maybe? Or did I actually use it? Oh, it's in the other machine. Okay, got it. Um, and I know this is going a little bit longer than I normally do. Just bear with me for just a minute. Okay. And I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try it. I can probably always use this circuit board for something, but I think I'm doing it the right way. And, and it power makes the most sense because it's I'm looking for the battery power, so it does make sense for it to be the power control. And we'll finish off the console with the glass. Now, turn you on, and I have to get in here and see what I'm looking for. Manual operation enabled, mode, toggle, linked. I don't know the difference. Uh, let's put in battery. 
battery cell charger. Nope, that's not what I was looking for. Um, let's try just bat. Bat right. Dang, nab it. Why won't it show up? Battery cell charger is not what I'm looking for. And I don't know if it's going to go off of... It's got to be named something else then that I'm just not thinking of. Wait, have I cycled through everything again? So maybe power wasn't the right choice because it's not coming up at all. Either that, either, well, either that. What am I stuck on? I can't move. <laughs> I literally cannot move. Oh, wait, hold on. Am I stuck in the chat window? Yeah, I guess I was. Okay. Um, so, the only other thing I could try, I've never tried this before, uh, but the only other thing I could try is to do the, um, I'm going to have to take this wall off to dagnab it. Oh well, I'm making a mess over here. Um, the only thing I could try and do too is instead of a console is maybe an LCD panel that it doesn't seem to, there we go. Maybe an LCD I might be able to work with. Um, I guess I don't need the glass for this or the circuit board. Okay, state zero. That, that's, that's, that's not what I, that's not what I want. Um, so yeah, that's not working. So let me know what you guys think in the comments as far as, uh, what I need to do to get the display for, um, I, I want to get the battery readout. I don't need to mess with it. I don't want to toggle or anything. I just want to read how much power I have in my battery up top on the top of the base. Uh, oh. Power low. All right, there we go. I did that wrong. Uh, but yeah, so we've actually got our, um, we've actually got our filtration system working fairly well at this point to where we end up with just our oxygen and nitrogen. And I think it's a little cold, but I guess I still can't, I can't actually open my suit at this point. Um, you are dead entirely, and I keep forgetting to swap you out. I probably should, at this point, we've had enough issues with the temperature, I probably should in invest in, um, an actual air conditioner unit and put it, like, in somewhere. I don't know, maybe back over here where this box is or something. Um, but yeah, at least our base is coming along. It's looking kind of nice, looking pretty good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!